Hey, it's Eric here. Today I'm going to be introducing you to the 3D Cartesian coordinate system. And in CAD we have two coordinate systems. One's called the world coordinate system, and then there's the user coordinate system. Let me just pan up here real quick. You'll notice here is our UCS icon, which you'll find normally down here in the lower left. This represents the world coordinate system, where 0, 0 is right here where the square is. Then we have the X going off to the right and the Y going up to the left. This is a 2D representation of the coordinate system looking straight down in plan view. Today I wanted to get into the 3D aspect of this. If we come up here and we choose Southwest Isometric, we're going to see the UCS icon in this position. So we have the X going off to the right here the Y going off this way, and the Z coming up this way. So as we switch views, if we come up here and we choose Southeast Isometric, notice how the X is coming down now this way, the Y is going up this way, and the Z is still in a straight up and down position. So as you change views, this UCS icon is going to move around. So let's undo that with the Control Z and go back to the original southwest view. So let me go ahead and draw a circle with the C command and I'm going to put the center of the circle right there at the origin. So I'm going to type in 0, 0 and the 0, 0 like I said represents the coordinates of the origin. Again at 0, 0 and then I press enter and the center of the circle comes right off of that ECS icon there. So let's type in 50 for our radius. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this circle up another 50. So I'm going to select it, type in CO for copy, and then I'm going to pick a point out here. Notice how I have this rubber band like line coming from the arbitrary point that I selected there and it's way out of control. The way that we lock that in you may know is just by either coming down here and choosing the ortho icon here, or better yet, press the F8 key. That locks us into the Z direction, either upward or downward. So as long as we're locked in with the ortho, we can just simply type in the distance that we want to copy it. Let's just copy it up 50, and then we'll press escape. So now we've got two circles. This one here, let's go ahead and change this so that it's a little bit further away from our cursor. Let's just type in 200 here. So when we select this and then type in LI for list, we'll be able to see that we have our center point at zero, our Y at zero, and our Z at zero. So that we're looking at the Z really here in that this has got a Z height of zero. And then if we click this one, we'll press our F2 key again. And we'll do a list command. We can see that this one has a Z height of 50. So the list command or the LI command will give us those heights. So let me just draw a box here with the box command. So it's B-O-X for box. And I'm going to go in x direction of 100 comma 100 so that's going to give us a simple box and for the height let's go 100 as well and we'll just go ahead and select this and move this over here by being in the world coordinate system we can draw a circle directly on top of this box there's a couple of ways of doing that, but if we could just type in the C command, and for the center of the circle, we could type in M2P, which is mid between two points. That's just a shortcut to remember. And then we snap to this corner and this corner. That's going to give us the midpoint of those two corners where we could draw that circle in. Let's just draw it in at 40 for our radius there. What would happen if we wanted to draw a circle on this side here, or the left side? 
Well, the only way that we can do that is to rotate this UCS around so that the X is going down this way, the Y is coming up this way. Essentially what we're doing, we're just taking this icon and we are rotating it around to match this surface here. We type in UCS and we choose this option here called three point. We pick the top corner here, the bottom corner here. Now this defines our X plane and then we pick our Y point here. This is not only going to rotate the UCS, but it's gonna place our origin here at the corner. So it's moved this whole icon temporarily to the side of this box. And when I say temporarily, that means because we're in the user coordinate system, we can easily switch back to the world coordinate system, which I'll show you in just a bit. But now let's say if we wanted to draw the circle on this side, we type the C for circle. We do the mid between two points again, M2P. We select the lower left here, upper right here, and then we can draw that circle in at 40 radius. So let's practice that one more time. We're gonna draw the circle on this face now. So we just type in UCS. We choose the three point option. We pick the lower left to the right. Now this is our X axis here. And then our Y axis is up here. And then we type the circle command in M2P and select the corners of our box. Now we can always return back to the world coordinate system by typing UCS and then choosing W for world here. So it's UCS and then W, enter. Let me just show you one more example by drawing a wedge. So we'll type in WE for wedge. We'll choose the first corner here and then we'll type in L for length. We'll make this 100 as well. And we'll make this 100 this way and 100 high. So that's gonna give us this wedge here. Now I want to just use my real-time orbit tool here. Let's we'll just come in down and select this here and then drag your mouse around until you can view the wedge here on this side. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. We're going to draw a circle on this sloping surface. Now our X is here, and in this situation, our Y is here along the slope. So again, we're gonna be using that UCS command, doing the three point option, choosing the corner here. Again, this is the X, and now we're gonna come up and choose the Y here. Let me just go ahead and rotate this around just a little bit more so you can see that our X is here and our Y is this direction here. And let's go ahead and start the circle command. And then we'll use the M2P again. Choose this corner. We'll use a 30 on this one. We've drawn this circle on this slope surface. So in this video, we learned about the UCS coordinate system and what world coordinates are as compared to user coordinates. And then we discussed what XYZ coordinates are by using the list command, the F2 key to view the command window, and then using the F8 key to lock and move copy in a true Z direction.